Activists are hitting the streets of Maiduguri to warn people about the dangers of human trafficking. These are people who have come to Maiduguri to run away from the terrorist group Boko Haram. But even in Maiduguri, where they found refuge, other dangers lurk. Human traffickers are seducing IDPs, internally displaced persons, using false promises of employment. So later on, when they carry them out, then later they will not even give them, they, they will not give them the, the job. Then they will start starting selling them like your slaves. And we have some victims. After we started this campaign, we got some victims that they have occurred this, uh, this, they face these challenges. Nana Abdullahi, an orphan, was selling goods on Maiduguri streets to make money when she met a man who said he could help her. I told him I would like a job so that I can take care of myself. He said okay, and he took me. I thought we were going someplace like Kano, but when we got there, he went all the way with me to Niger. After a month of what she described as an ordeal, Nana ran away and found her way back to Nigeria. More than a million IDPs live in Maiduguri, the capital of northeastern Nigeria's Borno state. This is where Boko Haram started, launching attacks across the region that have so far killed more than 30,000 people. There are about a dozen IDP camps in the city, and the government says they are frequent targets for traffickers. People are coming there in the evening for recruiting, I can say, taking young girls, going away with them. Members of Nigeria's anti-trafficking agency distribute pamphlets to warn of the dangers. But some say their choices in Maiduguri are limited. Mariam Haruna was smuggled into Saudi Arabia, where she worked illegally as a domestic helper. I spent two years there working. Unfortunately, one day when I was coming back from work, I got caught and was deported back home. Despite having to pay back the man who trafficked her, Mariam says she would rather go back to Saudi Arabia because her life there was better than her life here. But these activists hope she goes back legally. They say people who have suffered and survived Boko Haram attacks should not have to fall victim again to human traffickers. Chika Odua in Maiduguri, Nigeria, for VOA News.